This is the most efficient and aesthetically pleasing way that I've found to straight lace my Doc Martin 1460. So I'm going to start by going inside towards the shoe on both sides in the first grommet. Making sure that both sides are pulled evenly. All right. So the pattern I'm going to repeat is I'm going to skip a grommet every time, uh, starting with one of the sides. In this case, I'm going to start with my left side. And I'm going to go away from the shoe in the third grommet, cross over towards the shoe, third grommet. Then I'm going to skip over to the fifth grommet on that same side, go away from the shoe, crossing over to the other side's fifth towards the shoe. Then I'm going to go ahead and skip another one away from the shoe, then crossing over towards the shoe. Then I'm going to go ahead, since we only have eight, and I'm going to not skip one, obviously, and just go out the last grommet. All right, so I have one side done. I'm going to go ahead and follow up with the other side. And in this case, I'm skipping, but I'm really just filling in the holes. So starting on that same side that the lace is on, I'm going to go away from the shoe, crossing over, towards. Then next one, away, crossing over, and towards. Uh, one little piece of detail here is that if you notice, I'm not going underneath creating any kind of knot so it doesn't have any friction. This will make it easier to loosen and tighten. So continuing, the sixth, away, crossing over, towards the shoe, and then the last one, away. So when I have the shoe on, since I skipped one, I usually tighten them by doing the same thing. Skip one, and it ends up being a lot easier, and the laces pull evenly. Now they say that 1460s and 1490s and uh, anything taller, you're not really supposed to bow them at the end. Uh, you can do whatever you want, the your laces. Personally, uh, I like to do a knot. So uh, depending on the length, I'll go ahead and cross them as I would before I bow them. And then I take them and I do a knot that I can pull out very easily. I like this look. I think it's more traditional, uh, but it's functional. Uh, and using this for as long as I have, they've never come undone. But as easily as I tied them, they can come undone by having to go ahead and, and mess around with a knot. So again, crossing them and then doing my knot here. 